Memsets support ticketing system is a way for our users to quickly, efficiently and securely report an issue with their service. Our goal is to be able to provide you with even greater security and more efficient support. Submitting support requests through your online account means our technical team can ensure all support requests originate from an authorised user of the account, allow you to see historic requests which might give you the answer to your current issue, and ensure that the correct level of support is given according to the service level agreement, enabling us to focus and resolve your issue more efficiently. To send a support ticket, you will need to log into your Memset account. On the account summary page, you can see a new option named My Support Tickets. This page displays a summary of every ticket you have, whether open or closed. To create a new ticket, select Open New Support Ticket. When you select this, you're taken to the Support Ticket Generator. First, select the service that your issue relates to. All servers and services will appear in these tabs. For example, SSL certificates or VLANs can be found in the Other Service tab. You must select a service to submit a ticket. Infrastructure-only services will appear, but will not be selectable. You can find out more information about our service level agreements in the support section of our website. Next, select your contact details from the account. You will be emailed whenever a ticket is updated. You can also select other contacts from your account if you want them copied into the ticket updates. Holding Ctrl or Command, you can click to select multiple contacts. For the subject, add a brief summary of the issue which you can then elaborate on in the description box and explain the issue you are having, the effects, and what you feel the cause is. This information is what our support team will use when trying to resolve your issue, so accuracy in the description will help us to provide you with a quick response. Finally, you need to list the steps required to replicate the issue. Set out as simply and accurately as possible the individual steps you took when you found or replicated the issue. If you have a file to attach to the ticket, you can add it via the ticket history screen once the ticket has been created. Clicking submit will create a ticket and take you to the ticket history page. Now the ticket history page has loaded and you have a message that confirms new ticket submitted successfully. Here you can see the details of the message you have sent. To add additional details or an attachment to the ticket, you can click Reply, add the information, and click Reply to update the ticket. When a ticket is updated, you can see the most recent message at the top of the page. Replies from the support team will also appear in this timeline. When our support team replies to the ticket, the contacts that you have assigned on the Ticket Generator page will be alerted via email. The best way to add additional replies to your ticket is to log back into your account using the link sent in your email notification and use the Reply button under your ticket history. As the conversation progresses, a timeline is created with which you can track the progress of the solution. Clicking on the title bar of a message you no longer need will hide the details of that message. You can also use the bulk actions to expand or collapse all messages in the ticket. When your issue is resolved and the ticket is no longer needed, you can close the ticket. You also have the option of returning to the My Support Tickets page, where you can view all tickets. Now you can see a summary of the ticket we have just created. You have the option of reordering or searching through your tickets. Clicking on the subject will take you to the ticket's history page. Finally, from the summary page, you can also reply to or close a ticket. Once closed, the ticket will appear in the Closed Tickets table. However, you still have the option of replying to a closed ticket. You now know how to generate and use support tickets. These are resolved during working hours between 9am and 6pm, Monday to Friday, UK time. During an emergency, you may require support outside of these times. In this situation, you will need to create an emergency support ticket. Log into your account and navigate to the summary page. You can now select Reboot an emergency contact facility. On this page, you have two options. To reboot one of your servers, enter the server name and a contact email address. Then select Reboot. If for any reason the automatic reboot fails, our on-call systems administrator will be contacted so that the reboot can be performed manually. You will be emailed when the reboot has been initiated. To generate an emergency support ticket, you will need to select the server in question. Servers on our infrastructure-only SLA will not be selectable. Servers covered by our infrastructure-assisted SLA are selectable. However, you will receive a warning which tells you that sending an emergency support ticket for this server will incur an additional charge. You will need to accept the additional charges before you can submit an emergency support ticket. Servers covered by our managed platform SLA will not be charged for submitting an emergency ticket. 
you will need to select a subject for the ticket, enter a short message, and supply a contact email address. Once this is done, select Send Message. This ticket will now appear in your My Support Tickets page. Essentially, it works the same as a regular ticket, but with an additional feature. Emergency support tickets are highlighted so that they are easy to locate. They also give you the ability to send an emergency reply. This emergency reply option is available for several hours after the ticket is generated. When you use the emergency reply option, it will update the on-call systems administrator. When a reply is sent via the usual reply button, the message will be read during normal working hours. You now know how to open, reply and close regular and emergency support tickets. Please do contact our sales team or visit our website if you would like more information about the available support levels.